Always in the evening. Always. We had coal earlier, so we couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't leave them hanging. <laughs> They're up there hanging together. They're up there hanging. <laughs> Wherever that is. <laughs> <laughs> I think we brought them into the room. So. Um, brought them down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, over. Should we do? Yeah. Okay. So should we do some more of those Joni things? That yes. 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 Do you want to hear it? Yeah. So this, this is a deranged <laughs> Wow. <laughs> De deranged This slightly. is what I do to those yeah. Tony songs. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said it took me five years for one of those. <laughs> well, so the, the trick is when you take something like that, you know, so Joni's music is not to be taken lightly because her words are so deep. And, and when you put the music to it and, and you change something. The thing to know is that she had polio as a kid. So, so uh, some of her fingers never got strong enough and that's why she has this really different technique on the guitar. Mm. And, <laughs> and her harmonies and the way she, she plays is very different mm. from everybody else. <laughs> and so, to take that and, and then come up with a sensibility that has, you know, the jazz harmonies and that in there without destroying the words is kind of tricky. So you want to find things that showcase the words. <laughs> so in this one, I tried that very hard. See if you figure out what I was trying to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll show up. Thank you. 
Sixteen springs, sixteen summers gone now. Cartwheels turn the car wheels through the town. Take your time, my love. It won't be long now. Till you drag your feet to the slow circles down. Years spin by. Now you know they were 20. The dreams have lost some ground or coming true. There'll be new dreams, better dreams of plenty. Before the last revolving year is through. I've done on behalf of the present time is to um, try to, what I did here especially was to change this um, from one de gender to all whatever gender oh. you want to be. Right. <laughs> so I'm using they, them, there, and there. You need a little lighter costume between. You know, yeah. Tony's so heavy. Sometimes. I mean, when we did that jazz kitchen <laughs> show, and by the time we go to Don't Interrupt the we're Star, we're and we're like, oh, oh, I'm just going <laughs> to. We're not really doing the heavy ones here. Right? <laughs> I know. Just, just the poignant ones. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we could. <laughs> It's up to them. <laughs> so we're putting it out there to the universe. We're looking for a big house show or special where we can bring the band and do this whole Joni Mitchell set. Oh, that would be good. Putting it out there. <laughs> Somebody's going to host it. Because, you know, the thing is when you record something, you, you don't want to just go in the recording studio and squash it down. It has to be living music. And, and so we need to... It's they not bringing it until people can hear it in the same space, and then you get to play it together as the same band. And it becomes a little baby, yeah. and then it grows. Yeah. <laughs> Once it grows to the teenager, that's when you right. record it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or at least the twenty-year-old. That's too twisted. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Annie, Sorry. <laughs> exa exactly. So Annie Ross actually wrote this, but she did this on the Horton Spark album. And that's where I heard it first, was Joan. I took that Court and Spark album to France when I was 17. Mm -hmm. Album to my host family. And uh, I wore that thing out. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. One, two, three. My 
idolist told me that I was right out of my head. The way he described me was that I'd be better dead than alive. I didn't listen to his jive. I knew all along he was all wrong. And he knew that I thought I was crazy. But I'm not, no. My idolist told me that I was right out of my head. He said I need treatment. But I'm not that easily led. He said I was a type that was most inclined. But I decided to be out of my mind. And he thought I was nuts. No more ifs, or ands, or buts. So oh, no. I say as a child, I appeared a little bit wild with all my crazy ideas. But I knew what was happening. I knew I was a genius. What's so strange when you're going to a real 23? I knew that this was meant to be. To the vodka one night, my parents got friend and didn't know what to do. I saw some crazy scenes before I came to the coup. Do you think I was crazy? There may have been only three, but I was swinging. They all think I had an experiment. They offered a medicine and also an Einstein. So why should I feel sorry if they just couldn't understand the idiomatic logic that went on in my head? I had a brain, it doesn't say no, they used to laugh at me when I refused to cry down all those double decker buses just because I was not driving on the town. No driver on the town, you know it was in London town. They had no drivers on the town because. But what I was thinking was that they couldn't see where they were going because there were all those intersections where there were five streets coming in at once. And I don't know how the drivers do it from the bottom. You would think you would have a better perspective on the top. You would think you'd have a better perspective on the top. But there ain't no roof above you, so anybody on the top needs to have an umbrella, cause it's London Town, an umbrella, it's London Town, an umbrella, because it's London Town, I don't know, but those are the crazy things that I think of. Gemini's in the crowd. Come on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's four against all young. <laughs> you want to do heaven? I mean, we could stay with the Joni thing. Yeah. Yeah. And we can probably pick up some more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's not a Christmas song. I don't think it's a Christmas song. It's just a. It's a, it's a sad song. It's a sad. It, it really is. I mean, it makes me like. Think about it's things. Sad. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> but you know, um, and, and this this uh, was an original Monica um, arrangement from a long time ago. We had been doing this a, a while, that many, for years. That one, yeah. And I just love this That's arrangement. She did for a Christmas album. <laughs> yeah. Originally. But yeah. I try to rewrite the words every once in a while just to keep. That just to take the Christmas out because that just really doesn't matter. Well, it kind of does because some a lot of people get depressed during that season. That's probably the only reason. Why. Yeah. All right, we'll keep Christmas in. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Christmas. We're cutting down trees, putting our green deer, singing songs of joy and peace. Yeah. 
more I'm with you, pretty baby, the more I feel our love increase. We're building all our dreams around us. The happiness will never cease. Nothing's any good without you. Baby, you're my centerpiece. We'll find a house and garden somewhere. Along the country road in peace. A little cottage on the outskirts. But we can really find. She and a group of us, well, you know, she's the, she's the leader of the pack. And we go into schools in southern Indiana and we bring jazz to the kids. And we do that uh, Duke's uh, place. Um, the kids have to make up words and then um, I get to scat and, uh, you know, do the call and response thing. And uh, sometimes... Uh, if there's not too many kids, they'll come and line up and get on the mic, which is very scary, but very fun. So, this is when they light up and they do. Well, they either light up or they go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, originally all of us line up on it, and then we're taught throughout our schooling to go. Because yeah. we're taught that there's a right or wrong answer and a good or a bad one. And so little by little, this whole daring of trying things out gets put on the side and this genius level of creativity disappears. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and that's why I strongly believe in that. Because it's a muscle in your brain, that improvisation muscle where you, you know, just turn it on every so often and just think, what if? Or... Just say yes, right? Yes, and the movie. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> Just say yes <laughs> and see what happens. And then the more you do it, you practice that muscle, and it'll come back because we all have it. Yeah, and I, and I always thought once I learned how to improvise, I thought, wow, this is like the best way of life. <laughs> you know, like because if if you improvise, you're not going to just if you're improvising in a song and you sing a wrong note or play a wrong note and then you keep thinking about that, then you're actually in the past. But if you stay improvising, then you stay in the, in the present moment, which is where we find all that creativity. So. Yeah, it's true. It is true. It's true. So, the improvisational lifestyle. So what do we, we want to do one more journey? Right. Do we? Well, we have a good closer. And yeah? Mm -hmm. Which one? Thinking what don't interrupt. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go on a set. No. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think my old man Oh, yeah. Um, oh, gosh. I had the worst time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a note. <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Going from the you know, the bridge to the, I mean, the, the verses to the bridge, there's just, I mean, I, I know the song backwards and forwards, but then I don't know what happened. Well, what about the... I'm dancing? scared, in other words. <laughs> what about the hissing of something? No, oh, that's also very dark. <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay, I think I should show you something. Let's think about it. Yeah, <laughs> let's, uh... <laughs> 
already? Oh, I know. How about Lubasa? Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out today and co creating this music. Thank you. Know, Thank you. Yes. So, yeah. Thank you. It's a special blessing for us because I love playing with Monica. And very fun. We should celebrate our 30 year anniversary. <laughs> yes, our 30 years of knowing each other. Doing this the first time I saw her, I got to accompany her voice lesson where she sang Twisted for this classical voice teacher who had no clue what to do with her. <laughs> and her little two year old boy was crawling in the corner with the strange. diapers on. <laughs> wow. That's and my first impression from Janice. <laughs> This is cool. <laughs> the flow of water's life beneath the sea draws me ever in life's mysteries. How can I the unexplainable Deep within Everything is clear I touch the water's blue And hear my song Trusting all I know No right, no wrong Waves of rhythm through Feel old, yet strong and true Answering what I always do.
on YouTube. It's not only on YouTube, yes, it is on YouTube, but there's more refreshments in the back. And we just really thank you. If you haven't had a chance to leave them a thank you offering, there's a tip jar. And I'll mm -hmm. be happy to sign some of the books. Yeah, there's all the sorts of goodies here. Yeah. And um, we do this every month um, with a different musician than our music. <laughs> so, so if you sign up on my email list, I'll send you notices as to what's 